How's it going there, Tunes of the World? It's your pal, Mega Snoop, bringing you another Toontastic video today. And today, I'm just hopping on the game real quick so I can do a quick video while my food's cooking. I got something on the stove, so if you see me looking over this way, it's because I'm looking at the stove. That's right. I'm looking at you, pasta, cooking over there, making sure you're not overcooking it. You know what I'm saying? And in addition to that, there was a commentary topic that I thought of that I was like, you know, that'd be a good commentary topic. Maybe I could talk about that. So I want to share that with you guys today. And that is you're taking Toontown too seriously. And uh, you may look at me and you'll be like, Mega Snoop, what are you talking about? You're like the tooniest Toontown Toontown guy. What, dude, what are you talking about, bro? But let me just let me just say, there are people out there who do take this game much too seriously. And you know they take it much too seriously. Usually you find these people on Reddit or in the comments section of some YouTube videos. And there really aren't too many of them, but they definitely exist. And it's definitely something worth talking about. So whether or not you take Toontown too seriously or not, like if you don't, that's great and I'm proud of you. But it's still worth a listen just because maybe it'll apply to other points in your life. Uh, this idea really sparked because I went to my comment section today just to see like what kind of comments were left on my YouTube videos. And I haven't uploaded in a few days so there weren't too many. But like I did get like three in a row from people that were just like over diagnosing my videos. Like one of them was about a Toontown Theory and they're like, Mega Snoop, yeah, I don't think that Theory holds up because... I don't think that that's what the game's about. The game's made to be an MMO and you do the bosses and once the boss is done, you do another boss so that you can level up. It's just a dumb theory. That isn't exactly what it said, but that's the gist of it. And so basically they were like, who looks into Toontown that much? I was like, well, you're diagnosing my video that much. So if there's people who are going to diagnose my video that much, I'm sure there's people who'd actually diagnose the game that much. So, But then I got another comment on like my trap versus drop video. Where they're all like, well, it's all situational. I don't think you can compare the two. If you really want to try to figure out which one's better, you got to take it by the certain situation. And it's great that a lot of you like look into it that much and you, you have that strategic mindset. But there are definitely the elitists out there that feel like if I say that drop is better than trap, they're like, well, then you're a trap hater. And apparently the only way to play the game is to go trapless. And if you're not going trapless, well then you suck. And that's not what I'm saying at all. People tend to read in between the lines on these things for some reason. I'll never understand why. But just to clear up that one little bit, I don't care if you go trapless. I don't care if you go dropless. I don't care if you go soundless. The game is easy enough no matter what gag track you leave off. It's, I don't care. I'm just going by the particular numbers because it was for a video. I did it for the sake of a video. For entertainment purposes. I think that's something people really need to understand not a lot of people this is a small small group of people but it's entertainment purposes a lot of the videos i make whether they're tip videos or instructional videos or heck even this video is for an entertainment purposes take it from me the toontown guy don't take this game too seriously it's for fun it's for entertainment purposes once you start taking the game too seriously it starts invading in other portions of your life not only will it take up more of your time and you'll end up spending more time on this game than you should be but you'll end up caring about this game more than you should be caring about real life things. And that's a very dangerous path to go down. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of a uh, guy named uh, Sea Green Bingo or uh, Bing what was his name? Bingo Plays. Uh, he he used to do YouTube, right? Now, I don't know the whole story because I'm not him, but from what I heard, uh, the reason why he quit initially is because of the fact that Toontown was taking up too much of his life. He was putting Toontown in front of other things. He was putting Toontown in front of things he shouldn't have been putting Toontown in front of. And he realized that, and so he had to take a step back. And it can be a very dangerous thing when you realize that you're putting not important things in front of important things. And this isn't just for Toontown. This is for a lot of things. People will put video games, you know, free Freaking Call of Duty, Final Fantasy, World of Warcraft, a lot of different things they'll end up putting in front of the things that really matter. Their family, their friends, their education, their work, their sleep. And it's not just video games, it's what we call an addiction. That's, that's what that is. When it becomes an addiction, yeah, that's a little too much. You need to take a step back from it alter what you're doing reevaluate your priority because if you end up caring more than the guy who's actually making a living from playing that game you probably are caring too much about that game just as an example how much toontown is too much toontown to the point where you're caring about it more than i am that's what i would say i think that's a good line i care about it just enough 
I've done this little speech a thousand times before in different videos and different streams and whatnot. Know what's important. Know what is really a priority in life and what is more of a hobby. Because if you're getting worked up and angry and enraged or what people would call genuinely triggered over Toontown, you are definitely putting too much time and effort into it and you need to calm down a bit. Try not to care so much, take it for what it is, enjoy it for the game that's here. Does that make sense? I don't know, I just feel like today somebody needed to hear that, so I decided to talk about it today. All right, all right, but I wanna thank you guys for watching anyway. You let me know what you think about it. Maybe you know someone who's taking games and whatnot too seriously, but that's gonna be the video. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. You can leave a like if you like. See you guys in the next one. Stay awesome, God bless, and peace.